Pinch Punch, it's the first of the month, Wednesday the 1st of March. I'm FX Blue and this is the Market Brief. So Hugh Pill's been on, he's the Bank of England's chief economist and he thinks they should slow the pace of rate hikes. He fears the MPC may have an adverse effect on the UK economy if they continue to hike at the same pace. But Hugh, I hear you say, inflation is still over 10%. Then, just for the bants, you'd probably say, and that's a bitter pill to swallow, isn't it? But putting all your gags aside for a minute, you probably would have a point. The central bank's goal is to slow demand and lower inflation without going too far and causing contraction in growth. Um, But where inflation is not dropping nearly enough yet, um, even if we are at or around the neutral rate, logic would suggest that there is further left to go. Pill's point is probably that we should go further at 0.25% rate hikes rather than overcooking it with more 50 basis point rate hikes. With little fiscal support expected to be offered up in the budget, there's also an argument that the Bank of England should switch their focus from bringing down inflation to stimulating economic growth now. And there's a similar debate over in the US where it's all about Um, when the rate tightening cycle should end. There's still a lot of chatter about whether the Fed can manufacture a soft landing or whether uh, the rate hikes will continue at a pace that will ultimately cause a, um, a recession. Employment and consumer spending are the two main areas that will guide the Fed on when to draw the line. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. February's non-farm payrolls is due next Friday. Mark that one in your diary. We're having a sweepstake. Um, And it will be a key consideration given the huge number of new jobs created in January. Meanwhile, though, consumer spending is still patchy and pretty unpredictable. So that debate continues. Uh, In the market, the dollar is restricted by interest rate expectations and the outlook where the yield appeal isn't rising as fast going forwards. The dollar index closed out the month around the 105 mark. Uh, Sterling closed around 120.30 against the dollar as February saw the largest monthly fall since September. So much for the Brexit bounce on the island agreement. Uh, We start the new month around 120.60 against the dollar. We're about 113.65 against the euro and euro dollar was about uh, 106.15 on the open this morning. Right, that's it from me. Go on, March. Let's have it. If you do not have a clue, then just tweet through and ask FX Blue.